Hey, I gotta do some work on this Murray. Yeah, uh, riding lawnmower. It won't say started. We're gonna troubleshoot. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I got I have a, this Murray law, riding lawnmower. I've got to do some maintenance on it. Uh, put a new battery in it. Checked all the pressure switches. They start. We even changed out the key ignition switch. Uh, for some reason, it's not getting spark right now, but when we were running it, wouldn't stay running, running really crappy. What we discovered over here on the carburetor, I noticed this is not the original carburetor that goes to this unit. There's a couple of wires that are dangling here. And these wires go to an after fire solenoid, which goes right here at the bottom of this bowl. So we purchased a new original OEM carburetor and we're gonna install that. Also just as a precursory, uh, preventative thing we're gonna drain all the gas out and put fresh new gas in there the starter was going out in it when we had it going earlier so we are gonna replace the starter and the coil seems to might be going bad so we're gonna go ahead and replace the coil and check the air gap in the coil while we're at it so let's get this disassembled and uh, put the new parts on put fresh gas in there crank her up and see how she goes First, I want to take off this hose clamp from the carburetor bowl. And I'm going to stretch this and let it drain right into my gas can. I remove the gas cap. Well, that's draining, I'm going to remove the negative from the battery. And with a 7 16th in wrench or box end wrench I'm going to remove this one from the starter We successfully drained the gasoline out of there, so we're going to set this aside. Want to remove the air filter cover and air filter. Inspecting the air filter is really clean, but we got a new air filter with this. Taking a 3 16 inch end wrench which is suitable for this nut you take it off using a t30 torque bit remove these to remove your carburetor Using a 7 16th, remove this.
There you go. Carefully pull away. And now you can reach this back bolt right here because you got to take this bolt off right here. Actually, it's a nut. And this slides off. Set that aside. And now you can remove this control rod and this control rod. Okay, at this point I'm going to take a 3 8 inch socket and start removing these. Um, there should be four bolts that hold the shroud on. You got one here on top of the muffler guard, one over here on top of the starter, you got one securing it at the oil fill, And then once you remove the carburetor, it exposes this one right here. And now you remove the cover. Set that aside. And at this point, we're going to take the spark plug wire off. Disconnect that. One quarter inch. This is held in by one quarter inch socket. Remove the old coil. Unplug it from here. Take your new coil plug in your green wire and set your screws or your little bolts okay now we have to set the air gap on that I'm using a feeler gauge this is a feeler gauge and the specs for this particular motor is a uh, air gap on the coil of 0 0.010 or 0 0.015 or 0.38 millimeters or 0.25 millimeters. So anywhere between those two we're going to set it at, um, let's try 0.15. Now here's your business part of your rotor here. Okay, try to center this where it touches both of them. Set your air gap, feeler gauge. Tighten your, your bolt. Not too tight, just slightly. You may need to make an adjustment, like right here. And once you're confident you're with your air gap, when this spins, it shouldn't touch, but be close enough to create a spark to send down to the spark plug. 
Speaking of the spark plug, let's plug this in. Okay, coil is in place. Two one half inch um, socket size bolts are located on each side right here. I'm going to remove those. I needed a longer extension for this one. And replacing it is just reverse order what we did. Make sure you get your connection, your electrical connections facing the right way. Once your bolts are in, make sure they're nice and snug on your starter. Okay. So let's attach the red main wire to your starter. Your starter wire comes from your solenoid switch. Okay. Okay, the starter is attached. The coil is attached. Now let's work on the new carburetor. I have a bit of prep work to do on the carburetor. I have to take the carburetor off the intake. These took a little coaxing. Those uh, sockets wouldn't work, so I had to hit it with some penetrating oil and let it sit for a few minutes. And then I uh, coaxed it off with some vice grips. So now I can go to the next phase and just remove these pins from here. And I remove the carburetor. So this is the new carburetor. And this is the after fire solenoid that these two wires connect to. So with a new carburetor, I mean firing shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it was either electrical or it was gas, one of the two. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and attach this to the intake and reattach the, uh, the cover to the motor before we attach this because this will uh, get in the way of the intake. So this mounts like this just like that so we're going to put the gasket on and get these mounted it came with a gasket which is handy we'll place that on put that in place and thread these bolts in place Tighten it down with an all-purpose farmer's tool. Place the shroud back on. Make sure we get this one in first.
and we seat this one securing the gas of uh, the oil fill tube This is the third one. And the fourth and final one secures it to the top, uh, the starter bracket. Okay, at this time we're going to con uh, connect the red, connect the green. These are two different sizes, so you can only go on one way. So the red goes on the bottom, the green goes on the top. And now, this is the tricky part. Putting these things back in. Okay, that's on. And that's on. Now we put the filter cover on. Uh, we need a gasket right here. So here's, here's our gasket. That slides over. We're going to put these nuts back on. sure you plug this breather tube in. We got one more bolt that goes right here. Using the torque bits, torque this down. Another one here. This new carburetor came with a new filter, so we're going to go ahead and place that on. Place that on. Place the cover on. Reconnect your fuel line. Fill with fresh non-ethanol gas. Reconnect the battery. Well, it won't start. It will jump, however.
So the the starter works fine. It did need a replacement of the starter carburetor. We needed to get those wires hooked back up uh, to that carburetor and got it going. It needed a new carburetor anyway. And then ch changing the coil out just so it would run optimally. Uh, but I think I have a bad solenoid because when I turn the key on, there's just no click, no engagement, no activation. This is a new uh key ignition switch we installed so we're going to go with part two of this riding lawnmower um rebuild series if you will and then uh, we're going to wait for the solenoid to come in i just ordered one 12 bucks out of ebay and uh stay tuned for that video hopefully we'll get it um soon so i can finish up this project and we'll do a part two on this video, but at least you know how to install those other pieces and parts on the engine. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen, in this Backyard Mechanics DIY series, repairing a riding lawnmower. Uh, this is a Murray riding lawnmower. I have a Craftsman riding lawnmower out in the field. Uh, but I wanna get this going, and I have a buyer for it, so the sooner I get it going, the sooner I get some money back in my pocket. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I do upload them. You can also uh, give us a thumbs up, like the show, and click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us out a lot. Also, if you would, leave a comment or a tip. Uh, maybe you guys know more about these riding lawnmowers than I do. I'm learning as I go and conveying the information to you to demonstrate what I've learned. Yeah, so we can learn together. I am not a professional at this. I am an amateur and I emphasize the word amateur. After all, this is the Backyard Mechanics series. Please remember, always be safe and always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.